Good morning guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. So today it's again a what I eat in a day video. Now I'm gonna turn the camera so that you can see how dark it is outside. It is almost 8 o'clock in the morning. It maybe does not look so dark on the camera, but it is super super gray. So it's definitely a weather where you would feel like just snuggling on the sofa, reading a nice book or watching a nice movie. Which is precisely my plan next to showing you what I'm gonna eat today. So let's go downstairs and make breakfast. Now today I will be having a tofu scramble because I'm super hungry, more to that later. But first I want to chop this melanzani, this eggplant, into slices because I want to make myself a baba ganoush today and I like roasting the melanzane in slices because it's faster and if you are looking for a recipe video then I will link my recipe for baba ganoush down below it's a video with more than one recipe so I will also write down the time timestamp when the baba ganoush recipe starts in case you're interested only in that so now I will salt the melanzani a little bit. I keep saying melanzani, yeah, eggplant in English. And let it sit for a few minutes because then it starts uh, loosening up the liquid inside. Then I will dry it a little bit, pat it with a kitchen towel and put it on a baking sheet and shove it in the oven. And since that's done now and it has to sit for a few minutes, I can start preparing my scrambles so let me grab another cutting board so i always like putting in my scramble mushrooms so i will chop my mushrooms first and then i will simply roast them and for my scramble i like using a regular tofu and break it into pieces i do have a recipe video on my channel for a tofu scramble made of silken tofu so I will link it down below but honestly after a while I figured that it is way easier and also less expensive if you're using a regular tofu so I highly highly recommend using just regular tofu because it's not so wet it doesn't lose so much volume and at the end it's also good for your wallet breakfast. Now I hope you can see me fine. I had to turn off the light above the dining table because it's a crappy lighting here. It comes from the top at an angle and it's way too yellow and I hate it. So I tried different camera settings so this is way brighter than what I usually use for settings but it looks to me fine so I hope this is also okay. I hope it's gonna translate well also in the video. Anyway, I'm having my tofu scramble for breakfast. Now today it's Sunday and usually Sundays we are having pancakes but I am home alone this Sunday because Jack went to the States and he's gonna be back in a couple of days and I didn't feel like making pancakes just for myself. And I also didn't feel like having my usual morning smoothie, so that's why I ended up having my tofu scramble. And I actually just realized I also had my tofu scramble in my previous What I Eat In A Day video, so I'm sorry if this is a little bit repetitive, but I just like it. Also, I'm not eating any bread with my tofu scramble today, because I just don't like bread that much. I mean, there are certain types of bread I can eat and I'm fine. But usually bread is not so great for me. I'm usually just bloated up and it just doesn't feel uh, like it just doesn't feel it doesn't make me feel great. So I have to be very aware of what kind of bread I am eating. So the bread rolls that you have seen a couple of times in my videos are fine for me. I also have no problem whatsoever with the thin sandwich slices, the, the toast slices. They are also fine, but 
the rest very questionable so i'm just very careful when it comes to bread and i don't feel like i need it i mean there's enough tofu enough mushrooms this is a nice portion and if that wouldn't feel like uh, it would satisfy me i can always eat something more like maybe one or two bananas so it's fine mm. today instead of my water with gemstones i'm having water with two lemon slices because i felt like it and I sprinkled on my tofu scramble, as usual, my herbal salt. So this is my breakfast today. So today I'm filming a video about me time, things to do during the cold season. I made notes and I came up with eight bullets. These are really lovely things to do during winter and fall. And by the time you're watching this video, the video should be already up, so I will link it down below. I was actually only waiting for my computer to start because I needed to connect my microphone since this camera doesn't have great sound, as you can probably tell, and it doesn't have a microphone jack. So I have to record the sound for videos that I'm recording here at my computer, like in my video room. I'm recording the sound separately, and then I'm basically just swapping the sound for the original sound and the quality is so much better. So I will set up my light and put the camera over there on my uh, camera stand with the ring light and I will start recording. We have a sleepy little doggy. Oh, someone is super sleepy and so cuddly. So I made my baba ganoush and now I am mixing freshly chopped cilantro into the baba ganoush because seriously I love this herb. I find that it adds such a nice flavor and now I'm going to toast two sandwich slices and then I'm gonna have my lunch. So this is such an easy but very delicious lunch. Not so many ingredients, everything is fresh, absolutely delicious. So now that I finished my toast with baba ganoush, I'm gonna have a clementine. I absolutely love clementines. They have a wonderful scent. I love the taste. And for me, they kind of belong to winter and fall. Now, I usually buy just a few pieces separately, uh, which is mostly a little bit more expensive than buying a whole bag full of clementines. But I know myself, I eat two or three, then they will be sitting there where we store our bananas for a while until they get bad and then I throw them away, which is kind of a waste. So I rather pay a little bit more and have just a few pieces of which I know that I'm gonna finish up. And also recently I haven't been eating that much of fresh fruit and I feel like it's missing in my diet. So yesterday I bought myself freshly squeezed oranges because yesterday I wasn't feeling well and I just didn't have the energy to do it for myself. So I bought a whole liter and I drank it all and it felt so wonderful. And today I'm having like two clementines because I feel like it's really important to keep eating fresh fruit and fresh veggies also during winter. Now, a few words about me not feeling well in the past few days. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you may already know that I might be dealing with breast implant illness. I have been dealing for the past 12 years with multiple health issues and no one could ever tell me what was wrong with me. At some point people even thought probably that I was making these things up, but all the pain, all the nausea, all the night sweats and stuff like that, they are very much real. And I had so many tests done and no one could ever tell me what was wrong with me. So it's a very frustrating thing. But recently I discovered a video from a lady who was dealing with breast implant illness. Until then, I didn't even know that such thing existed. But once she started describing her symptoms and the things she's been dealing with, my mouth kind of opened. And it was as though a light went on because I felt like she could have been talking for the most part about me. So I started digging a little bit deeper into this and it all makes sense. It looks like the implants that I'm having are basically slowly poisoning me. Now, when people are getting implants, they are always being told, oh, this is perfectly safe, this is medical silicone, but it's just not true. There are thousands of women who have dealt with this and thousands of women who are still dealing with this. So it's very real. And even though the medical community still thinks we are just crazy females imagining things, these symptoms are very real. We are exper experiencing them and it's not a joke. So I will have my implants taken out as soon as possible, but it's going to take me a while because 
I have to find a surgeon whom I can trust. It needs to be a person who knows how to perform this procedure properly because they have to remove the implant and the capsule around it. So yeah, I just have to find a person whom I can trust and then I also have to find a way how to finance that because honestly, I don't have that amount of money on the site right now. So yeah, I will have to figure out how and what to do. But I will film a video about that um, after Christmas probably or at the beginning of January because I don't want to spoil Vlogmas with this issue that's very emotional and very difficult for me and very personal. I need a little time until I will be ready to make a separate video on that. But I just wanted to let you know that this issue exists. So if you have been thinking about getting implants, please think twice. Better look into this first. I created a playlist where I save videos from other people who made videos on breast implant illness. And there's also a Facebook group. So I link both down below. It's just not worth it. So retrospectively, this was one of the biggest mistakes of my life. I shouldn't have done that. So if I could change one thing in my life, it would be the implants because it looks like they're basically slowly poisoning me from the inside and medical community thinks it's just a big joke. So this is a really serious issue. Now, once I will find a surgeon who will perform the procedure on me, I will document that. So there will be then videos in future, I hope in near future, because honestly, I really want these things to go and I really much hope that the symptoms that I've been experiencing for the past 12 years will clear then. But now on a more positive note, I am going to have some chocolate. So I have here Vegel Bar. This is a wonderful vegan chocolate. It's also gluten-free. There are hazelnuts inside and it's just so delicious. I don't buy these very often because I try not to have chocolate at home because when it's not home, then I can't eat that. But given the fact that I felt so poorly in the last few days, I went yesterday shortly in the store and I felt like I'm gonna have chocolate because I feel so sorry for myself. So I'm gonna have chocolate now and I'm also gonna Skype with my daddy. For dinner, I made myself stew. So I cut onions in rather larger pieces. Next, I chopped one tomato. I cut one sweet potato into smaller cubes. And I decided to add two small carrots and a little piece of celery. I chopped again both in pieces. I heated a small amount of coconut oil in a non-sticky pan and then I added the onions. I threw in also about four crushed garlic cloves. Next, I took a small piece of smoked tofu and started breaking it into pieces the way I usually do for tofu scramble and I roasted everything shortly. As a next step, I started adding all the veggies. I seasoned the stew with paprika and Italian herbs. So my Italian herb mix has in it basil, rosemary, marjoram, oregano and thyme. I added about two cups of water, stirred everything properly and then I covered the pan with a lid and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes were up, I added green beans, chopped in smaller pieces and then I covered the pan again with a lid and I let it cook for about 7 to 10 additional minutes. I added more water so that the stew would have a consistency of a really thick soup. And then I added about half a cup of water with half a tablespoon of cornstarch so that the soup would thicken. First I added herbal salt to taste. But then I still felt like it wasn't salty enough, so I decided to add just a little bit of organic soy sauce and that added a really nice flavor. So, let's see. It smells wonderful. And let's try it. Mm. Wow, this is really good. 
Mm -hmm. Now, I already have an idea how to make it even a little bit better, in my opinion. So I will work on that recipe and I think like during Vlogmas I will then film the final recipe for the stew, but it's definitely wonderful. I like food like this because it's just such an easy food to make. It's pretty quick, like low maintenance kind of. And what I like about food like this is that you can easily take it with you uh, to the office as long as you have microwave there, you warm it up and you have a proper lunch. Or like if you cook it one day, then when you come home the next day, you still have something left over for dinner the next day. So definitely something that's gonna be part of our meal plan in the next few weeks, at least during the cold season. I really like it. So, and since Jack is in the States and he can't have any of this delicious stew, I told him that I will freeze a portion for him so this needs to cool off and then I will obviously cover the plastic dish with a lid and I will put it in the freezer so he can have it when he's gonna be back from the States. So that was my dinner. Now I am about to take a bath. And after that, I will put on my gym jams and fluffy socks and my bathrobe. I'm just gonna stay warm and I will watch a film. I don't know what film yet, but probably something super easy, maybe even romantic, I don't know yet. But since it's very early, because it's actually only quarter to six, I will probably even be able to finish the film in one night, which is something that hasn't happened in a long time. And regarding food, you guessed right, I'm gonna have my chocolate chai tea as usual and I might have either a banana or a few salt sticks but that's gonna be it so I'm gonna say goodbye at this point. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. As usual, if that was the case, don't forget to give the video a thumb up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would be very happy if you would do so now. I listed a link down below a lot of stuff that might be either interesting or helpful for you. And thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon. Bye!